Well, you guys, shall we come back to have a look at this Morris Minor again, George? It's been covered up. You know what happened last time, I had a problem with uh, getting it running and trying to move it. So we brought a battery with us, we brought um, some tools. So I'm going to see if I can get him fired up and see if we can get him moving. Right, let's get him uncovered. Body else, so we've got the cover off. You can see there's tape on a lot of places where he's not seen good times. So I'll try and have a look underneath at some of the repairs we've done on this before, see how they're holding up. It's hard to see from where I am now. But we will do. Like I say, some of you guys will remember this car from before. Grill's been changed, headlights have changed, indicators have changed. It's done a lot of bits and pieces to it. As you can see, there's fuel in the filter today. What a guy, so. Got George fired up. Not sounding too bad, is he? From what we can work out, he has definitely been standing here six and a half months to seven months. Bodywork is uh, definitely still going to need some work. But what I really need to do is get a look underneath this. Um, so I know when I had it before I've had some extensive uh, patches put on it should I say don't forget the last time when I had it that used to have an MOT but I didn't have to have one for a while and if I'm going to use it I need to make sure that it's safe to drive them that's for sure right it's going to go through the lights and stuff We've just gone through all the lights, side light out on the back this side, brake lights are working, uh, the indicator's working. I'm going to see if I can get it to move in a second because um, obviously the brakes are a bit jammed on. The handbrake ain't been left on but and like I said, that's a rat moggy. But that's 35 miles to mine from here, so I will be taking a chance to drive at them. It'll also be fun, but that engine definitely sounds sweet. Well, it's still running. Obviously, the brakes were stuck. I managed to get it to move here. Seems like it's this back one was giving this the most problem. So I'm going to try and get this hub off if I can. Well, it's still running. Obviously the brakes were stuck. I managed to get it to move here. Seems like it's this back one was giving this the most problem. Right, I've had that wheel off. Can't get to the adjuster or anything. So what I think I'm going to do is just try and get it to yank backwards and forwards a bit. Hopefully that will break itself loose. So at least I can turn it and maybe get to the adjusters. I'll just try it. Now I'm on this uh, concrete bit, tarmac, whatever. So uh, we're in George now. Speedo's a bit misted up. As you can see, it's moving now. Not the best, but it is movable. Let's just get out of this gate. Right, so here we go. We've got it moving now, look. Um, it's moving under its own power. Okay. I'll put the clutch in. You can see it's rolling. The brakes are still binding a little bit. But we are going uphill here, so they're not as bad as you think. Will that get really hot? I don't know. Are they going to free off more as we're going? I really need to know 
try and make my mind up what I'm going to do here. Well, I'm going to put the camera down and just take it for a little bit more spin round. See if they free up anymore. Because, um, obviously, I didn't use this car for uh, six, seven months, so to say. Let's see what happens. Well then these brakes are obviously freeing off a lot better, look if I go up the hill, it got a bit of the old clutch noise, but I think this always did, if I stop brake, then that's rolling, so they're definitely not sticking, they're not very good brakes, but they never were in George, I mean they're not, not even servo assisted, they're never going to be perfect, the brakes are on, I take them off, and we're rolling. So they're not sticking as much as I thought. I'm just going to turn it around and try it the other way. So I'll back up this drive now, this slight hill. There it is. And you can see it's going to roll forward on its own. Brake. The brakes are actually working. It does break a bit on the left before the right. But what do you expect? Now I've got to make a decision. Do I want to drive this 35 miles home round the city ring road? What am I going to do with it? Who knows? Time to have another little think. Right then, guys, I've got a mobile. I've been round the block in it. Uh, brakes pull a little bit to one side, but they always do these old cars until they get freed up. It's definitely rolling now, up and down this little ramp. Um, that's a project, project rat rod, so what do you think, should I get it, stick on the drive and sort it out, or do I actually just use it as a daily driver while it's all going and do it up as we go, yes that do needs work, I did manage to see some of the places where I've welded it before they still look like they're holding up. Um, it's going to need some more work. Interior is not brilliant. But then again, or I could uh, paint it back up gloss black. And that might look even better. And maybe even keep it a little while to sell it on in the summer. So many possibilities. But do I take the risk now of driving it all the way on? can't see why not, can you? The only little problem we've got now is the lady can't find the logbook. Now that's not a massive problem because I could always get it online but I'd rather have the logbook with me when I take it away. Um, just to make sure that that is still in their name. You never know do you? I just don't know what to do. I'm not going to bang on the door and see whether they've got any luck with finding the logbook. Right, I've just been to check whether they've found the logbook. The lady's actually gone out. She should be back in a bit and then hopefully she can find it. The guy in the house who's obviously babysitting and got a clue where it might be. But he's just given her a ring so we can get some idea where to have a look. What do I do? Let's see how easy he'll fire up now. Now I've been sitting here a little while. Well, good as he always was at starting. Remember these, these are all from when I owned him. I was taken to the Walmer Road Classic Car Show in Lowestoft. So that's four years, I think I had this about five years at least, maybe even longer. Um, obviously I didn't have the skull themes on the key and on the gear stick, but I'm, I am bothered about that. Um, and I have got some old videos at home, I'll probably play them later of uh, some of the work I've done on it when I had it before. I had different door cards, this was all different, but everyone 
does what they want to do, don't they? Uh, it's all good. More videos coming up with George, and we'll see what we're going to do. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.